YouTubers, it's Michelle, and I'm here today with a small but necessary haul from my local Kroger grocery store. Um, actually, it's not Kroger, it is Ruler, but it's a sister store to Kroger, so sometimes I call it Kroger, because a lot of the products that we get there are Kroger brand. But, anyway, this little haul here was $22.16, which I didn't think was too bad, because I did get some meat. Um, but I basically went to just get the bell pepper and some hamburger meat because I'm going to fry up some hamburgers on the stove this evening. That sounds so good. And I have some brioche buns that I got from Walmart that I've never tried before, but they look delicious and I have no idea what they're going to taste like or anything. I've never had brioche bread or whatever so I don't know if it's like sweet or you know how it tastes or anything but the buns look really really good and they're like the Walmart brand the great value brand but they're getting ready to expire so wanted to use them before they went bad so I needed some hamburger meat to make the burgers and then tomorrow I'm going to be making meatloaf and I needed a green pepper and and, 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 if you're still watching this video, um, I am actually going to try to do a what's for dinner video, um, at the end of this week. So, I'm going to start, um, recording the meals that I make. I don't know if I'm going to do tonight's meal or if I'm just going to start tomorrow since tomorrow's actually Sunday. I haven't decided yet. But, um, I'll probably go ahead and do tonight because... Like tomorrow when I do the meatloaf, that will last me for one or, you know, for another day or two uh, for leftovers. So, just so I have enough content, I will probably start with the burgers that I make tonight, which are going to be pretty simple. But, um, yeah, I mean, I've been trying to make good use of this quarantine time and having to stay at home and stuff. So I've been learning some different things about how to edit videos and different things like that. and uh, Basically how to merge videos together. I did not know how to do that. and I'm still not sure I'm doing it the easiest way. You know, I'm just doing it the way that I figured out how to do. And I can't really say that I've really watched any videos on how to do it. I'm just kind of... Um, learning as I go so just kind of playing with the software that I have so I'm sure I will as I get into this more involved I will probably look into if I'm doing it the easiest way what software is the easiest to use basically that kind of stuff but right now I'm just gonna dabble in it I mean all we have is time right now so um you know, I figure I'm going to make the best of it, you know, so that's what I'm doing. So that is my plan. So um, hopefully I will be able to get the video up next Sunday. That's what my plan is. We'll see. So this video is the grocery haul from Ruler. So like I said, I just went to go get the hamburger meat and the bell pepper and I ended up getting a few other things because, um... They're just necessities and stuff that I needed. So, anyway, over here, um, I ended up getting some of this chicken bouillon. I've never used chicken bouillon. I've always used, uh, you know, chicken broth and stuff. So, I'm assuming it's the same thing. You just put the cube in there and add water. That's what I'm assuming uh, from the videos that I watched. Um, but I thought... You know, just in case I don't have chicken broth on hand, which I always try to have, um, these would be good to have, and they don't take up much space because I do live in a small apartment, so space is a commodity here. So I thought, I'll get these and I'll try them, you know, and if I like them, you know, it may be something that I end up starting to use more of than chicken broth because it definitely takes up less space. But I have been told that chicken broth has a better taste than using the cubes so we'll see but like I said I just decided to get these for a backup plan plus right now you never know what you're going to find and what you're not going to find in the grocery so I picked those up then I picked up a box of shells um macaroni and cheese I love the shells I don't really care for the elbow much unless it's baked in the oven I don't like it really much on the stove top so I got a box of the shells because I always like to keep a box of those 
on hand, and I think I have one box in the pantry right now, so I um, decided to go ahead and get that. There's the lonely bell pepper that I had to get because I did have some in the fridge and I ended up going bad before I used them. But that's going to be used tomorrow. It will not go bad. It's going to be used for my meatloaf. And then back here I got some cornmeal for these bad boys here. The yellow squash because I think I'm going to fry me up some squash tonight. That sounds so, so good. So I'll probably cut all this up. And probably fry maybe one or two, probably two, because I love fried squash. Um, so I'll probably fry two of them and then bag the other two up and put them in the freezer and fry them another time. Then back here, I got these jalapenos. Um, I'm going to make a knockoff salsa from one of our... I don't know that it's actually local. I mean, I know they have them in other parts of Indiana, but I don't know if they're anywhere else other than Indiana. But we have a restaurant here, a Mexican restaurant called Hacienda, and they have the most delicious salsa. Um, and it's very simple. It's more of like a tomato-y type pasty uh, salsa. But it's so, so good. And I've looked at some knockoff recipes, and... A lot of them were calling for jalapenos, and they said that the can had carrots and onions in it. Well, I bought a can a while back, because I was going to do this recipe a few, probably a week or so ago. bought a can, and um, I don't even remember, oh, well, now I do. But when I was looking at this can, I couldn't even remember what the brand was, what the size was, anything. But I noticed these, and I noticed it looked like it had carrots in it, because it said on the recipe that the can that they were using had carrots and onions. But on the front of the can, it doesn't say anything about carrots and onions. So today I decided to read the back of the can on the ingredients, and sure enough, there's carrots and onions in there. So couldn't remember what size can, you know, like I said, couldn't remember brand, none of that. So I went ahead and I bought this big can because I think it was only like $1.57 which I didn't think was bad went ahead and bought it come home and sure enough it was the same brand that I had already gotten and it was a much smaller can than I needed but you know if the recipe turns out like I'm hoping it does like it tastes like the salsa then I will probably make a big batch of this stuff and share it with some people so Good to know. But anyway, so that's the story with that. Um, then back here, we've got some, um, the movie theater, butter popcorn, their brand. I love their brand popcorn. I like it way better than the Axe, Orville Redenbacher, you know, all the name brand stuff. I like the Kroger brand the best. So I got that. Then I got a couple of Tony's pizzas because I always like to keep one or two of these in the freezer and I'm completely out. Um, I like to have these for nights that I don't want to cook. So, they're easy, and they're very inexpensive, and they're actually my favorite frozen pizza. So, I would take one of these over a 9 or $10 frozen pizza any day. So, that's my favorite. I like the combination, and I like the hamburger, but the hamburger are hard to find. So, I did get two combinations. Then back here, that is the ground beef that I need for the burgers tonight. I'm going to make smash burgers, try to anyway. I'm, you know, I'm, I make burgers on the stovetop a lot, but tonight I'm going to try to make smash burgers, which are basically just really, really flat burgers. So, you know, how hard can it be? Uh, you just flatten it a little more than you usually do. So I'm going to try those with these brioche buns. Like I said, those, they look so, so good. So... Got the hamburger meat. And then back here, this is a cube steak. And I've never had cube steak. Don't know what it tastes like. But I love chop steak. When you go out to the steak houses and stuff, I will take a stop a chop steak over a prime rib or, you know, any of your New York strip, whatever. I I don't like the fancy schmancy kind of meat. I like just a simple chop steak. So you know, when you go to the grocery, they don't have just, you know, when you look at the meat and stuff, you don't see anything that just says chopsticks. So I'm really not sure what part of the animal it is, you know, um, as far as having to buy it actually in the grocery store. So I thought I would try this. It's a cube steak. And 
kind of looks like a chopstick to me, and it's beef, so I thought I would try it, see how I like it, and we'll go from there. So I picked that up. I think there's two in that package. And then last but not least, I just got a few seasonings. I got my um, faithful taco mix that I always like to get from there. I like their taco mix. So I got three packages because I was completely out of taco mix. So I like to have at least two of those on hand. So I went ahead and picked up three. And then I never realized that they actually have the knockoff brand of their brand of ranch uh, seasoning and Italian seasoning. So I got one of each and I'm going to compare them because they're a whole heck of a lot cheaper than the name brand stuff. I think they were like only 44 cents. So way, way better deal. So hoping that there's no difference in taste or anything. So that's it. That is my haul. I still have to run over to Walmart, which is right across the street. And when I say run over there, I literally mean run over there because I walk over there because I don't drive. And it is literally pretty much across the street from where I live. So I do have to go over there because I want some french fries tonight. And I just have a few in the freezer. And I don't think it's going to be enough up there to satisfy my hunger for french fries so i'm gonna have to go over there and get some french fries hopefully they'll have the crinkle kind and i think i'm gonna get some corn on the cob for to eat with my meatloaf tomorrow and i need milk i'm completely out of milk my milk went bad i had to get rid of it so those three things and i'm sure i'll come back with more and i will probably merge that video onto this one because i know how to do that now so so excited i know just the little things in life it's like <laughs> and those of you who know how to do all this for a long, long time, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, you know, <laughs> she's crazy. But I am completely illiterate when it comes to doing things with technology and computers and phones and all that stuff. So for me to learn how to do that, I've been pretty excited. So anyway, look forward to the clip that will be added onto this and it will be my small but mighty, I'm sure, Walmart haul. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, this is my Walmart haul. I'm going to merge this into the um, ruler haul. This came out to be $44.12. It's from the neighborhood Walmart, which is across the street from where I live. Um, believe it or not, I went over there just to get milk and Greek loaf french fries and came back with all of this. That's uh, a testament to tell you not to go to the grocery when you're hungry. So, um, I did notice that a lot of the shelves were stocked really good. As you can see back there, I've got toilet paper. That's actually not even for me. But um, a lot of the shelves were stocked really well and stuff. So, I kind of think that maybe... We're kind of coming around from all this stuff, you know. Um, I don't think people are as, as panicky as they were. Um, I think now it's, you know, when are we going to get back to normal, you know. Um, so, I kind of think that we're going to see the shelves at the grocery stores being more stocked and stuff. Because I noticed that today, both places that I went, you know, things were pretty well stocked and stuff. So, we're going to start over here. So, I got me some Bosco sticks. I don't know if you remember having these in high school, but I sure do. And that's the last time I had them. So, it's been many, many years ago. So, I noticed that Walmart now carries them. So, I bought me a package. And I'm just hoping that they will fit in my freezer because... My freezer is pretty well stocked. <laughs> As a matter of fact, a lot of stuff I have over at my mom's and her um, extra freezer. So, um, yeah, let's hope we find a place for this, for the fries, and for the ice cream. <laughs> so, anyway, so I got the Bosco sticks. There's the crinkle cut french fries, which I'm going to be making probably half of that tonight. So, that will not all go in the freezer, thank goodness. Then I seen these. They're little Debbie cakes, Mother's Day edition. They're strawberry. And, whew, they looked really good. And I was hungry. If I hadn't been hungry, I probably would not have picked them up. Then back here, um, I love chips. If I'm gonna snack on something, I would much rather snack on 
chips or chips and salsa than to eat chocolate. You know, um, I like chips and salsa and I like fruit to snack on. So I got me a couple of bags of chips because I didn't have any, so I got me those. Um, last few times I've been over there, they've been out of the Spanish rice, and I absolutely love the Norse Spanish rice. I always make that whenever I make anything Mexican. Um, I know a lot of people make their own and stuff, but I'm just as happy with that. So um, I've thought about trying to make my own, but I'm like, you know, it's just more extra steps and this is just so easy you just add water matter of fact they have it now where you can microwave it and i've tried that and i usually do not like stuff that's microwaved but it's good it's very comparable to this so um you know um i would buy it too because it's a whole lot quicker to mix so there's my two cents on that <laughs> Um, I did get some pizza blend cheese because last few times I've been over there, I've noticed they've been out of the pizza blend, so I just got it. Really don't have anything in mind that I'm going to make. I probably will either do, like, homemade pizza or uh, French bread pizza, something like that. But just thought it would be good to have on hand. And while they had it, thought I'd go ahead and pick it up. Now, this here, I've seen all kinds of girls here on YouTube getting this. It's the Circus Cookie Ice Cream. And how can you go wrong with a tub of ice cream for, I think it's $1.79. And I like Walmart's ice cream. I think it's just as comparable to the 6 and $7 uh, cartons of ice cream. So... Yeah, buddy. Cannot wait to try that because I love the little circus cookie cookies anyway. Uh, my mom used to get them all the time growing up and stuff, and we loved them. So, cannot wait to try that. Another thing that I'm going to have to find room in the freezer for. But, you know, if I have to eat the whole gallon, oh, so be it. <laughs> no, just kidding. I won't do that. But, um, you know, if I have to, I might. <laughs> So, back here is the toilet paper. Like I said, they have lots of toilet paper. They had Angel Soft, they had Charmin, they had Quilted Northern, they had Cottonelle, they have the, you know, just the generic brand. Um, I am a couponer, so I have been stocked up on, coup or, on coupons. I have been stocked up on toilet paper. So, it's not been an issue for me, thank goodness, but I do make it, um, priority that when I'm out and I see it and it's available because you're only allowed one package and because it is so hard to find um and a lot of people aren't as prepared as I was you know thankfully um I do always pick up a package you know because I always know that I'm going to find somebody that's going to need it and sure enough before I even got home I had somebody calling me saying I want the toilet paper I want the toilet paper so yeah I got the toilet paper uh, then we have some elastic pickles there, which is going to go with our smash burgers tonight. And then I picked up two cans of the beef ravioli, the Walmart brand. This stuff is absolutely delicious, better than Chef Boyardee. Um, it is just so, so good. And I've had a hard time finding it during this pandemic. So, um... The last couple of times I've been over there, they've had like a case of it. And like I said, I walk over there uh, because I don't drive. But if I drove, I would buy the whole case because <laughs> I love this stuff so much. And, uh, you know, it would, it would be eaten. It would definitely be eaten. It wouldn't be something like I was hoarding or anything. Because I like to fix it, like, for lunch if I get hungry. I mean, I'm usually not a lunch type of person. But sometimes during lunch, especially now being at home all the time, um, I get hungry, you know, during the day and stuff. So, it's good. It's good to eat with, like, a grilled cheese or something. So, definitely recommend the Walmart brand Chef, or Beef uh, Ravioli. Definitely a good... Thing. two thumbs up for me um then we have the milk and i obviously did not think i was gonna get milk um um well i mean they had plenty of milk but in the whole milk they only had it in the gallon size and i've been getting gallon size and i've been wasting so much milk throwing so much milk out and i hate to waste food and especially now so i told myself you know i'm gonna go back because i i did only 
used to buy the half gallon. And then I would find sometimes that I'd run out or I'd need more. And I thought to myself, you know, I'm like, Walmart is just across the street. If you run out, you can go right over there and get some. And really, getting milk has not been an issue or anything. But luckily, there was a girl coming out from the back, and I asked her if they had any more of the half-gallon sizes, and she said, let me go back and look, and sure enough, they did. So she brought me a half-gallon size, so I'm just all taken care of. Then, this here was a splurge, a major splurge, let me tell you. Um, it's the Rayos, I guess that's how you say it. Um, it's their Alfredo sauce. And I'm thinking this was like $5 or something or $6 or something for this jar. Um, I'm used to um, my ragu, you know, and it's like a dollar something a jar. Sometimes I can get it like two for $2 if I have a coupon, you know. So um, this was a major splurge, but I've seen so many people also comment on this brand of pasta sauce. Now, mostly it's the spaghetti sauce, but I don't know how I could like a spaghetti sauce any more than I already like my Prego, um, or my Ragu, not my Prego, my Ragu traditional. I love that stuff. I've had other people's homemade spaghetti sauces. You know, I've had all the stuff that you eat out, and I always go back to my Ragu. But as far as Alfredo sauce, Ragu is lacking with their Alfredo sauce. I will say that. And I absolutely love Olive Garden's Alfredo sauce. So I don't know how this is going to compare to that. But um, I figured, you know, if everybody is raving over the marinara sauce and stuff, then probably their Alfredo sauce is really good, too. So I'm going to try it. If I don't like it, then I will just make my Alfredo sauce from scratch because I do have a couple of recipes on how to do that. And it's really, really good. But like I said, major splurge there. So I did get that. And then back there is some antibacterial dishwashing soap. Um, you know, I've never been a germaphobe since, you know, before this and stuff. But now I'm, I'm, I'm still not really what I would call a germaphobe. You know, I mean, I'm not washing all of my groceries when I bring them in and stuff. You know, I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. It's up to you. But, you know, I'm at a point right now where I'm like... And it's going to get me. It's going to get me. And it's just me here living here. Um, so if I don't wash my groceries and, you know, something's contracted or whatever, it's on me. You know, and, it, and it's me. It's me only, you know. I don't have kids. I don't have a spouse. You know, nothing like that. So it's just me only. But, you know, I am trying to do certain precautions and stuff. And I am washing my dishes with you know, making sure that the dishwasher liquid that I use is antibacterial and stuff, you know, just to be a little safe, you know. But like I said, I'm just, I'm not a germaphobe, and I'm not going to let this turn me into a germaphobe. So, I got that. Um, and then over here, I got a couple of jars of the Elastic Sauerkraut. Um, one jar is for me, one jar is for my mom. Um, I've been craving sauerkraut and sausage. And I got a couple of cans of it, and my mom told me that the jar is way, way better. And she told me if I was out and about, and I actually seen the jar, to pick her up a jar, too, because she's been having a hard time finding it herself. So I seen it over there, and I picked us both up a jar. And so I think we're going to be having some sauerkraut and sausage sometime, probably this week. And then the last thing was I got two ears of corn, and it's fresh corn. I went over to the frozen department to get some corn on the cob to make with my... That was the other... That was the third thing. There was three things that I needed to go get. Corn on the cob was another thing. And I was just going to get frozen corn on the cob to make with my meatloaf tomorrow. And they were out. I mean, I was like, what? Corn on the cob? So, um, thankfully, I went over to the produce department and they had this. And, you know, fresh corn is always better anyway. So, just a little more work. But it'll be worth it. So I got two ears of corn. And so that is it. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, I think I offered a couple of little um, uh, a 
opinions or different things that you might want to try and stuff. I know I love to watch grocery videos. I love to see what people are getting and their opinions on different things, you know. And uh, some of these things, like that Rayos uh, <laughs> um, pasta sauce, you know, that's a buy because I've seen other people buy it. So, you know, uh, I guess we all like to... Um, what is it? Um, not encourage. I can't think of the word that I'm trying to think. Of, but anyway, you know what I mean. So anyway, this is my video. Uh, look forward to hopefully a what's for dinner video for me next Sunday. Um, if all goes well. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.